Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my videos. In this video, we're going to be going over positive thoughts and affirmations. Guys, it is completely mind blowing how many thoughts go through our minds every second, every minute, every hour. There's absolutely no way to control them all, but in this video, I'm going to give you the best tips on how you can do your best to control them as much as possible. Now guys, this is the sixth video out of 11. If you haven't seen the other videos, not to worry you can just look below in the description section to see details on how to view all of the other videos in the description section you will also see information for a company called achieve test prep guys listen there are a lot of companies that offer programs for LPN to RN or LPN to BSN or RN to BSN and a lot of them over promise and under deliver guys this is the exception I'm putting my name behind it and I'm actually giving away my first ever empowering grants or scholarship if you will of $600. I really want to empower you to take the steps to get the degree that you need to be successful in your career. So if you don't have your BSN yet and you're thinking about it, make sure you go ahead and fill out the form below. There's no strings attached. And by doing that, you'll be taking giant steps to empower you with the right degree. All right, guys, with that said, let's get right into the video. Step number five, diet and energy tips to help raise your vibration. So as a child, I was lucky to be raised with parents that really took our nutrition seriously, almost a little bit too seriously, but we had dessert once a week and we also were not allowed to have any sugary items in the house and we had very healthy, well-balanced meals. So when I started living on my own, I said, you know, enough with this, this is too time consuming and I'm gonna do what I'm going to do. And so what I did was I started putting my work before my health. So I said to myself, when I have the money, I'm gonna eat healthy. And what happened to me literally changed my life. I was under an immense amount of stress. I was just eating pretty much anything just to fill my stomach so I could get back out there to work. Um, I was not paying any attention to any kind of nutritional value or anything. And I ended up having extreme, extreme abdominal pain. And I went to the emergency department and it was my very first exposure really to um, the healthcare environment. And so I guess they thought I was just drug seeking. And so they basically gave me some fluid and said, sent me on my way home. So I went home and it just got worse. I waited about three, four days and it was just getting worse. I literally was at the point where I almost couldn't eat. I had already lost like 10, 15 pounds and I was already thin to begin with. It was really, really difficult. So I, I went back to the ER and I said, listen, I, I, it's, it's worse now. Like my stomach is really, I can't even touch it. And so the doctor did an examination on me and he said, okay, let's go ahead and do a CT scan. And so they did a CT scan and it showed that I had small bowel obstruction that appeared that it could be resolving, but it was an obstruction. So he basically said, okay, I realize you're in pain. I'll give you something for pain. And then he sent me home with a few directions. The surgeon saw me, but they thought that it would be able to resolve on itself. I guess it wasn't a bad one, but it was bad enough to cause a lot of pain. <laughs> so anyways, I went home and I said, okay, all right, I'll take this healthy-ish thing kind of seriously. So I started very basic, just like maybe some of you guys are, or some of you guys might be extremely advanced with diet and nutrition, but I started very basic. I said, hey, salads are healthy. So I would go and maybe get a regular Caesar salad, load on the salad dressing and have the garlic bread. And you know, I really started very basic. But another thing actually changed my life, maybe even more than this past event. And that was starting nursing school. And not just starting nursing school, well, starting school in general. And I realized early on that I could not afford to lose 20 minutes mentally. I needed to be mentally and physically sharp at all times. And I had never really had to use my mind as much as before I told you I was not the most brightest crayon in the Crayola box for high school. I did not excel academically really at anything. Um, so this was a complete change for me. And when I realized how much energy my mind used, it was quite astonishing. So I started paying attention to the way things felt when I ate them. And I like to tell people this because it could be different for you than it is for me. So I am gonna show you exactly what I do in just a little bit, but I want you to know that what works for me, it might not work for you. And that's completely 
completely fine. So what I did was I started eating things, but then afterwards I would kind of take inventory. Like, hmm, how did I feel after that hamburger? Or how did I feel after that potato salad? So I found foods that would not make me have that mental crash, but yet they would satisfy my stomach so I wasn't hungry. So I've been doing this over the course of many years and my diet has evolved to what it is now. I don't want you to get intimidated or feel like that's not a possibility for you because the truth is you just start small. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do in a minute, but let me just say one more thing. So it is, it's really essential, honestly, for healthy eating to pack your food. I, I don't think that it's really good to leave it to chance. And I'll tell you why. Because do you always get to go to lunch at the same time? And maybe you do, maybe maybe I just live in a place where I, you know, I can't. But unless you always know when you can go to lunch and you always have healthy options there, I think that packing your lunch is essential. Because I know this, if I did not have healthy food around and I was not able to eat lunch when I normally eat or at a decent time, let me tell you, if I go to that cafeteria, I am going to attack it. And I will get two pieces of pizza, a hamburger, ice cream, and you name it. Because that's just the way it's going to be because I'm hungry and I don't care. So the thing is though, when you have healthy foods around, you usually just won't get to that point. Eating healthy and having such a big busy job, I agree, it's hard. I'm, I'm working right here with you guys. I'm a floor nurse, guys. So I hear you, it's, it is tough. It's almost like an art. It's something that you have to really want to do and you have to really plan on it. So here is exactly what I do now. The first thing that I do is I put my eggs on the stove to boil. Once they're boiled, I cover it and then turn the heat down to low and let them simmer for about 20 minutes. Then I pull out about however many days that I'm working, I get the sandwich containers and I fill them with arugula and spinach. These are greens that will last for a long time. I also put lemon slices in there and that's pretty much what I use for dressing. After that, I take some kind of gluten-free bread and maybe put one or two slices on top of them. And then I create little piles. This is the start of my lunch pile. Next, I add the nuts all to one plastic container. I mix them with a spoon. I will put a list of the nuts that I use as well as all of the products that I use down below so you can copy that if you would like. Then I take little snack baggies and I put a good amount of nuts in there so I don't always eat all of them and whatever I don't eat can just be used for next time. And then I add the nuts to my piles. Next I take the berries. The berries have already been washed with water. And I put them in little bags. I usually try to get strawberries and blueberries. This day I was just really focusing on strawberries because the strawberries are in season now and they're so good. But I do have some blueberries over to the side which I'll probably just eat on my days off. So I add those to the pile, as well as a whole tomato and a whole avocado. Next I get some hummus and I divide up the hummus into three little containers. And I love these seed crackers, these are gluten free seed crackers by Mary's. I get them from Whole Foods, I get pretty much everything from Whole Foods and I put these in little snack piles as well. Next, I go to the grapefruits. So I'm working three days this week, so I'm cutting up three grapefruits into slices like an orange. This is a very refreshing snack. And then I just put them in a sandwich baggie. And these will literally stay fresh for about three or four days. So if I'm working three days in a row, I'll just go ahead and cut them. So here is what my lunch pile looks like. So I grab my lunch bags. I have three different lunch bags, which we're basically all free swag from 
different hospitals giveaways at one time or another and I just put everything in the bag pile by pile. Here's my next bag and again just pile by pile. Looks like it's not going to close but don't you worry it will. <laughs> And I've got the eggs, so make sure you don't forget about those because those are going to be on the stove. <laughs> and then I put all of them in the refrigerator. So that way all you have to do in the morning is just grab it and go. Like I said, I know it's a little bit extreme, so don't worry if you're not anywhere near that, that's totally fine. Okay guys, I know that I don't have to tell you how valuable it is to be healthy and to be vital and to just be all of you. One thing that I like to uh, take note of is that in the healthcare field, we have the amazing opportunity to see what, you know, 30 years of a habit does for you. So for example, 30 years of drinking, 30 years of smoking, daily habits compounded. So when you see these daily habits compounded, you get to choose. So you can learn from what people do that's wrong, but you can also learn from people that do things right. I'm sure you're going to have some patients that are actually relatively healthy and they're in your facility because they just need a little bit of help and that's it and then they'll be on their way. So learn from those habits as well. So anyways, I hope this encourages you to just pay attention to what you're eating, maybe even to throw all the sugar away in your house. Um, it's I definitely did that and that was really life changing. And for the first week, you'll probably be going out like every day to get something sugary. And then after that, you're like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> I don't really need that. So anyways, take your health seriously. We've only have one body. This is it. This is our total experience of the world. It comes down to this one thing. And it can make a huge difference in every area of your life, including your job and including your home life. So it's just that important. All right, moving on to the next step.